So let's take a look at how you can use LTI to connect Moodle with WordPress. So um, I've already done some setup on the back end and so I'm just going to show you uh, what a teacher will see and be able to do with their students. So they go and add an activity, an external tool, and give it a, a name, classroom blog, and I've added it in uh, the main site so I have Moodle blogs and we can do a uh, new window and that's all the teacher really has to do and so now they click save and return to course and now it shows up as classroom blog they click on it and up pops your WordPress blog and you can see I'm logged in as a teacher in this scenario so I have full access to the dashboard okay but now what we're going to do is I'm going to log out and return to our course here and I'm gonna log in as a different user so um, this user will be a student and I'm gonna go right to the course. So I'm enrolled now as a student and I'm going to click on classroom blog. Now you notice the last time it, we looked at this it said admin user, now it says Chris Kenneberg. And over here if I go to the dashboard I only have access to post, I can't edit uh, what's already existing but I can add new. And so I can type in my response, click publish, and now it's it's there for the world to see through our uh, classroom blog and this is done using LTI to connect WordPress with Moodle. Now you notice that the title um, of the blog was set to blog training and testing. It pulled that from um, the course that I was enrolled in in Moodle which is the um, training and testing course right here. You can get that so whatever the name of the course is, that is what it's going to use to create the blog uh, title. Um, and uh, I just think this is great. Um, the students in your course will be able to publish new posts but can't edit or touch anything else. And um, isn't that exactly, it's a great opportunity for teachers to get their students publishing uh, in a controlled uh, environment. So um, this is great.